Hi guys, I'm Laura Batali, and on this episode of Laura in Your Kitchen, I want to share with you my recipe for my honey oat bread. Now, if you follow me on my vlog channel, which you totally should, you can kind of get like sneak peeks of what's to come here and learn in the kitchen on my vlogs, then you'll know I, I love making breads at home, and this is one of the things I made recently, and everyone wanted the recipe, so I figured you asked for it, I deliver. Now we took your ready ingredients so we can get started. You'll need some bread flour, some dry milk powder. These are instant or quick cooking oats, not instant. Um, but you can also use, of course, regular old fashioned oats. I've got some fine sea salt. This is fine table salt. You'll need some melted butter, some honey, warm water, and you'll need some yeast. Now, that's it. I mean, it's really simple and it's really easy, but it is just divine. Nothing, absolutely nothing beats the taste of a homemade bread. Not in my opinion, anyway. So, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna let the water cool. You know what, actually, let's get started on activating the yeast, shall we? Quick tip. Now, in order for me to measure out the honey so that I can have it ready for you, I always put it in a glass measuring cup. But spray your measuring cup with some nonstick cooking spray first because that way, look, it all comes right out and it doesn't get stuck everywhere. So, that's the tip of the day. Spray your measuring cup with some nonstick spray and your honey will come out. You do the same thing with like, um, corn syrup or anything like that. I'm going to add my butter and my honey, and my honey, and my yeast. And I'm just going to set that there and I'm going to let the yeast proof. It'll take uh, just a few minutes. You should be able to smell it. You'll see it kind of foam up a little bit and that's when you know yeast is proofed. In the meantime, take all of your dry ingredients, give this a nice mix together. Now this bread is sensational on anything. I mean, I love it just to eat it, you know, with, with jam or butter, like, you know, like toast. But I also love making, because it's slightly sweet, I'm a sucker for anything sweet and salty. I mean, the combination to me is dynamite. Give me a stick of saltines or a stack of saltines and a little bit of Nutella and I am in heaven. So this bread, you can make French toast with it, you can make eggy bread with it, you can make like French toast kind of sandwich. I mean, it's just, there's so many things, different things you can make with it. So. I'll show you a couple recipes in the upcoming future here using this bread. I'm just going to put all my dry ingredients in my standing mixer that's been fitted with a dough hook. And I'm just going to let those sit there until the yeast is proofed and then we'll get going on mixing things up. As you can see, the yeast is proofed beautifully. That is what you're looking for. I'm going to add that to my dry ingredients. I'm going to add everything to my dry ingredients. Make sure you scrape out the honey all out of there. I don't want to leave a single little drop behind. And then all I'm going to do now, raise this up, mix everything together on medium speed until you've got a nice dough. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. That looks great. Now, obviously it's not going to be super, super smooth because you have the oats in there. But this is perfect. Now, let me get that bit off of there. I'm going to take everything out of here with my little, uh, this is just a plastic dough scraper. Very, very handy. I definitely think you sh everyone should invest in one. They're only like five bucks and you'd be surprised how handy they are. Okay, you can see this comes together beautifully. It's slightly tacky, which is exactly what I am looking for. I'm gonna put this in an oiled bowl, flip it over rub it around, just oiled with vegetable oil. I'm gonna wrap this up in plastic wrap and put it somewhere warm to rise for about an hour or so or until it has doubled in size and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. This looks amazing. Smells really good as well. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on my surface. I also have a nine by five inch loaf pan that I have just sprayed with some nonstick spray. Get this out of here. I'm just gonna Flatten that with my hands. I don't want to work this too much because I don't want to end up with a really tough bread. And then what I do is that you just kind of roll it like so. And then you want to make sure that you pinch. I just kind of tuck things in and pinch. And that'll be the bottom. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Okay, now this is going to go into your pan. I'm going to cover this again with the same wrap. I'm just going to loosely cover it and I'm going to place it somewhere warm once more to rise. You want this to come to about the top of the loaf pan. It'll take about an hour or so, depending on how warm the environment you have this uh, in is. So, 
Let this rest, let it rise, and then we'll get it ready to go in the oven. My bread has domed up really beautifully. Now what I've done is I've taken a little bit of honey and put it in this container, popped it in the microwave just for like 20 seconds so it's really nice and runny because I'm gonna brush the top with this. At this point, you wanna make sure your oven is preheated to 350. I'm just gonna take some of this runny honey and just gently brush the tops of the, at the top of the bread with it. And I'm just gonna take some of my oats and I'm gonna sprinkle them on top because I wanna be able to see the oats right away. Like I wanna be able to see that this is my honey and oat loaf of bread. Pop this into the oven, 35 to 45 minutes or until it's a beautiful golden brown color. And when you tap it on top of it, it should sound really hollow. That's when you know it's done. If it's getting too dark too quickly, tent it with foil and you're good to go. My bread baked for 45 minutes and after 30 minutes I covered it with some aluminum foil because it was just getting too much color too quickly and it is perfect. Now, if you want, you know, like a really sort of puffed out bread, if you want it to be much higher, you would use a smaller pan. I use a 9x5 because I want to get smaller slices because I've got something in mind with this bread um, in which I don't want to use too big of a slice with, but it is just absolutely perfect every single time. I'm going to cut a couple slices. It's still warm. You really should let the bread cool completely. But, you know, I break the rules. Come on now. Don't we know this already? I mean, it is just, it's just perfection. I mean, look at that. It is soft. Oh, it smells incredible. It's actually, it's not warm. It's really, really hot. <laughs> and if once it cools a bit more, it'll be a lot easier to eat. Mmm. Slightly sweet, lovely and buttery. That lovely crust from the honey and the oats. It's just a total, I mean, look at that beautiful thing. Mm. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope that you have enjoyed spending time with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.